So, you got your seatbelt on and you want to pump it down to 90. It's about 90. So now we're going to start it up. And you want the air pressure to build back up for the governor's shuttle. That is what they are listening for. The governor's okay. working. So now we're going to turn the bus back off. Turn the back to run. Let the gauges settle. Yep. You're going to let them settle down. Stop moving. And now you're going to press your foot on the brake. Release your parking brake. And now is when you hold for one minute. So it's, say it's been one minute now. So we know that we have not had any loss of air pressure. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test our alarm and to make sure our parking brake engages. So in order to do that, we're going to fan out the air. First is going to be the alarm and that'll be coming on right around now. And the next thing that's going to come on is the parking brake will engage. And that should happen right about now. And then now we know that our alarm is working for our low air and our parking brake is engaged. So at this point in time, what I'm going to do, start the bus because I need to build this back up. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to step off the bus and unchalk my wheels. Okay. Then I'm going to come back on the bus. And I'm going to sit back in the seat, put the seatbelt back on. Does it matter if the door to open when you're doing the brake test? No, you're going to get hot, so you might want the door in the You're okay with that? Yeah. Well, except for now, when we get ready to pull forward. You need so, to have everything yeah. closed. So during your actual brake test, you can have it open, so you're not in here roasting to death. And then when you unchalk the wheels and you bring your shocks on, hit it to normal. And then sit down, because you're going to be moving the bus at this point, so you don't want the door open. So during this time, though, what you can do is think back, did I hit everything? Can I talk about this if I forget it? Can yes. I talk about this if I forget it? Yes. Okay. So if you forgot anything at this point in time, you can say, you know what, I did forget to mention while we were out there and we can either go back out or I'm, I'm gonna mention it now, is I forgot to mention that my windshield is clean, clear and unbroken and there is no stickers obstructing my view. And I forgot to mention my mirror is securely mounted and it's set to where I need. So now our tanks are filled. So now what we're gonna do is first, we're gonna test and make sure our parking brake is held. So I'm gonna put my foot on the brake pedal. I'm gonna put it in drive and I'm gonna rev it. Rev it, my parking brake did hold. So now I'm gonna put it back in neutral. I'm gonna release my parking brake and I'm gonna test my service brake. So I put it in drive, I'm gonna pull forward a little bit, brake, pull forward a little bit, brake. I know that that held, it did not pull to the left or to the right. And now my brake test is completed. Now I'm also going to finish this test by saying that my horn is in working order. So now I'm done.